Hey everybody, it's me RJ. <laughs> and hmm. And today we're changing the oil in a 97 Dodge Ram. This is a 5.9, but I'm pretty sure it's the exact same on the 5.2. Alright, so what you're gonna need is a 5.8 socket wrench. Um, unless you've changed out your drain plug on some other time. Clean off your oil pan a little. Mine leaks everywhere because I got a rear main seal leak and I need to pull the oil pan gasket and uh the oil pan and switch the gasket, but it's a lot of work to do. So the only time that's getting done is if my transmission goes, shh, knock on wood. So yeah, I'm at. So hopefully that doesn't happen. So Kylie's gonna come in here and she's gonna show y'all how easy it is to change the oil on here. Kylie, you wanna do the honors? All right. You're on the front of that, right? Yeah. Right here, Kylie. Okay, can you see it? Mama, mm -hmm. camera? Yep. Okay. Okay, coming towards you. Lefty loosey. Lefty loosey. <laughs> Ready tidy. <laughs> you mean break it free, are you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Once the oil pan drain plug breaks loose, it's then loose. So you gotta do a few, and then you wanna do the rest by hand. Remember, you're gonna get dirty. You're gonna get dirty, people. You're gonna need glove, uh, uh, paper towels. It's just gonna happen. And you go it, and then you time it, and then you just get to pull it out, and you set it over here, on inside the pan, but out of your way, and just let it go blue. It's a little windy, so watch your eyes in case it's windy face okay here we go I just got something in my eye <laughs> and there's no one over touch me huh look at that she's magic she wiped her fingers off then she says that no that was from right. the I got some rust from under this car on my eye watch your head don't put it up into that oil you'll be unhappy all right so we're gonna let this drain for a little bit. Our dog's going, oh, I want attention. Okay, we'll let that drain a good amount before we do it. And we got a oil filter, which is up here. And what we're gonna replace it with today is a SuperTech uh, ST16, I believe. I'm gonna show you on in a minute. And we're going with some Penzo High Mileage, regular, standard, not synthetic 10W30. Uh, this truck does not like synthetic. It burns it. I'll be low all the time if I put synthetic no, in here. this is from the bolt. That's from the bolt. Look at it. So uh, some of y'all got to tell me, why are you using synthetic? Because it's a truck and it's old and it didn't even exist really better than that. It did, but didn't it? Second, I use Pennzoil because I've always used it and it's a good oil. Y'all going to like say, no, they use wax. That was like 300 years ago. And first off, when that big thing and everybody thought wax bad, whatever, but a lot of them use them. What it is is not wax. It is paraffinic something. And it's a chemical that's in most oil refinery. So I'm just gonna let you know before you hit that pencil. And you know what? You're not gonna watch the video and listen to me anyway, and you're still gonna tell me I'm an idiot, so I don't know why I bother. But everyone else can go, hey, he's right. It's paraffinic wax or something, but it's not. It's a it's a type of oil processing, and it's not paraffin wax. Okay? These pens on all my vehicles and they go forever. Look at this truck. She rolls like a dream. The only problem with her is she needs some cab mounts. She needs some cab mounts. Show them the cab mounts. They're right above you. Can you see them? Oh, yeah. Can you see them now? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, those are bad. I know, I need to do it. I need to do it. How much she needs a new muffler because I got an inspection. Got some holes in her. It's not even that old of a muffler. I'd say six years, maybe eight. One of the inspections, I got it done. So like, yo, 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 thing is not good. And I'm like, it's good. So um, I don't know if you want me to show them. Here, let me show I them. I can't see the. All right, so here's the plug. You upside down, I know. There's the oil filter. On this Dodge, it's very easy. You can just reach up in there and grab it. Do you want to do it or do you want me to? Because it's super gross and dirty. Me? Okay. All right, you want to hold the camera while I do it and you scoot back a little because it's going to drip everywhere. Ouchie. And to see the wind I was talking about, look at it, getting it. I need you to, you, you can't put the phone there. You're going to have to move back that way. It's going to drip right here. You're going to be, the phone will be a paraffinic 
phone. I gotta get over there for a minute. Watch yourself. Are you still videoing? Mm -hmm. Okay. And guess what? I said it's easy. And I'm having trouble. I'm gonna have to use a strap because I'm having. Ah, being a weenie. Don't be a weenie. I'm why are the sunglasses it. are sliding on the floor? I'm barely moving it. It's windy, that's why. <clears throat> I'm moving it like one millionth of a turn. Go get the bar. It should be getting looser. It's not. Give me that rubber glove. No, we're not having none. Back from my shirt. Glove? Hey guys, give me that rubber glove. We'll see. Well, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm using my strap because I was being a weenie. Um, I don't know what kind of Hulk mood I was in when I put this bad boy on. Maybe I used the strap. I don't know. Usually it's when I have no problem and I can just get it. Let's see, the strap goes in like that. Man, it don't want to go. It does not want to go. And Mary, I talked about the wind coming. I'm upside down. I don't know. I'm upside down. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> now I can agree on that one. Let me turn it back on. All right, y'all. Got the strap. It got to break free. It didn't even need to go once I got oil on my elbow now. All right. I even put my glove on to try to assist me, but I was just barely moving it. Okay. And the good thing is this one, like I said, it's tearing open. It's windy. That was the problem right now. It wasn't windy when we started. I said it, and then it happened. I said it. Hey, you might want to move that phone. There should be some oil flipping airwear. See it? Mm-hmm. So windy. Okay. So that's what we got. You want to bring me that filter over there by your feet? Thank you, boss. Bring the whole case. Bring the whole box so they can see it. It's blue. It is blue. Bring the whole box. Oh my. Whole do, box. Do you want to put it on? I mean, I mean, just tighten it. I'll put the oil on it. You want to do it? Okay, come on down here. Yeah, let's come over by mama. All right, buddy. It is a SuperTac ST16 oil filter. Uh, you can use the Fram. It's like a 4470 or something. I'm not sure. Just look for cross arms for this. I got every kind, but I just grabbed this one today. Okay. This is a product of USA, so made in America. The SuperTacs are pretty decent. They've cut them open before and did tests, and they're made a lot better. Oh, Fram is PH16, PH8A. Mobile one is M1204, M1. 301A can is HP 294, HP 301, and then there's also a SuperTech SD8. There's some others, okay? So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get some of this dirty wall. You showing me? Can you see me? I'm gonna put it on my finger and we're just gonna rub that gasket. Some people will say that's an old wise tale and this and that. Well, you know what? You should tell me it's an old wise tale and you show me the old wives that changes oil. Exactly. <laughs> you ain't no one. Okay, come here, Kyle. What? Come here. Your job. Come here. You, I can't move. I gotta show you where to go. You gotta come over here. You're gonna want to use your good arm. You're gonna have to get up in there. Come on. Make come over down here. You gotta see what you're doing. I'm a butt. I'm sitting on a butt. We could be done with our video, but my assistant is not moving. Okay, grab this in your hand. See. Grab this in my hand. Okay, do you see? The you gotta sun hold it tight. The going through the crack. Okay, move your head somewhere else then. <laughs> move your head over here, look. This is where you need to get to, right here. Do you see it up there? Okay, that arm's probably not really the one to get it with. Okay, hold it, you got it? I'm gonna let go. Let okay. go. You're gonna go right there. Make sure you do not cross the it, okay? Can y'all see what we're doing? I can't see it. Okay, she's gonna come in here. Yeah, be gentle. I can't see it. gently turn. Did you get it? <laughs> You get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, it should be very loose, everyone. It should go real easy. If it isn't, you cross thread it. Uh, Ouchie. Sorry. There's a rock in my hand. Yeah, okay. Keep going. I'll do the tightening at the end. Go as much as you can. You know where that oil drain plug went? We're going to put it back on. Oh, my dog sounds like she's dying. <laughs> Is she in the backyard? No. No, she's At the front door? Yeah. Okay, she misses us. She sees us out here like. What's going on? What's up? Love okay. me. Okay, I'm putting the drain plug back in because it's pretty much stopped draining. 
Um, I need some paper towels. Somebody grab me a paper towel, please, and we will finish this up so I can tighten that on. Okay. All right, you on? Mm -hmm. Okay, get as good as you can. Nice thing, like I said, there's a lot of room. And tighten it, and then like a little more. All right, so we got that on. Do you want to tighten this, or can I just tighten it? Okay. So you want to go by hand tight and you will go all the way in hand tight. That's how oil drain plugs work because they got that rubber gasket. Okay. And then you're just going to take it one, like a three fourths of a turn. Be careful. Give it nice and tug, but don't go too crazy because you do not want to break off your oil drain plug, your life. That will suck. Okay. As you can see, I got mess under here and they do some more cleaning and working and darkening. We're gonna go up front and we're going to put some oil in. And I'm gonna show you how to put the oil in even though you probably know, but you may not. You never know, could be your first time, you could be a kid. You could be like me and have nobody help you and teach you this stuff. So, you just gotta learn on your own or watch me on YouTube. I could be your dad. Hey son, this is how you do it. On in. We on? Mm -hmm. All right everybody, so, or should go right here. Unscrew that, get you a nice little funnel. We got a bigger one here. I got a better one I like, but it was filthy and I didn't feel like cleaning it. So, if I remember right, this is six quarts. So we're gonna put five plus a little in and then check back like tomorrow. All right, or later after it sets. Got it heavy? Show them, gotta get in there. It's heavy, don't spill all over my car, okay? Yep, get that hand in the other hand. Remember. Okay. Good to go. Don't try to pour it too fast. It's fine though. As long as you don't spill. This one's a fast funnel. It's got a bigger hole. You can get this, I think, $17 or maybe is it more now? It's like 20 isn't it? I don't know. 17 or 20 bucks. I don't remember. It used to be 17 but I think it's like 22 now at the Walmart. Which I may be affiliate of soon. If I am one of those, I'll put a link because Amazon's crazy for like oil and stuff. Crazy. <laughs> Don't buy your oil at Amazon. That'd be driven. All right, so that's five. Go ahead and stop. All right, that bottle's gone, and then we're just gonna put a little any bit of this guy. All right. So right now we have two and a half quarts in here. I'm just gonna top this guy off. I'm gonna put like a half. Okay. With the light. Mm-hmm. It's for if you're working at night. All right. Um, we did an oil filter change, so that's always, and some people may not know this, but you do not have to always change your oil filter. It is good for it. You can do it, but you don't have to. You can do an oil change now, and then 3,000 miles, leave the oil filter and just drain it and switch it, and then the next time, like every other. And they'll be like, what? what? 3,000 miles? You should always change your oil at 3,000 miles, okay? My Avalanche says 7,000 or something. We do 3,000. Okay? So, that's it. Any questions? No? We're done. We're going to check it out here in a few minutes after it sets. Add a little more if we need to. Top it off. Please like, subscribe. Every little bit helps during these times. If you see a Walmart link below, help me, help you, help me. As always, I'm RJ. Seize the day. Each and every day. Bye-bye.